What's going on, everybody? It's your observant lineman, Uche Waneri. We got some breaking news coming out of the NFL. Some sad news, unexpected for sure. Uh, NFL world's kind of been rocked by reports of Kevin Green, the Hall of Fame 15-year linebacker with the, with the uh, Rams and the Carolina Panthers, uh, has passed away at age 58. Uh, there has not been, uh, as far as I know, uh, any cause of death given. Uh, this is something that's kind of, you know, hit the waves just now in the last hour. It's been uh, some very, uh, you know, shocking news for sure. Uh, and, you know, I can remember my time as a kid growing up in middle school and high school, uh, you know, as a huge NFL fan watching Kevin Green uh, terrorize quarterbacks, one of the most prolific pass rushers uh, of, the, of, of all time in the NFL. Uh, this was a guy who was part of, uh, that initial kind of of moving away from man man to man defenses and and introducing zone blitzes those kind of schemes started with uh, teams like the Carolina Panthers and Kevin Green was a huge part of uh, the success of zone blitzing uh, as he was rushing off the edge both as a defensive end and as a linebacker uh, but let's take a look at this article this is coming straight from the NFL. Uh, they report that Kevin Green, uh, pass rushing great Hall of Famer Kevin Green, dead at 58. Uh, I'm going to go through the article. I'm going to try and just uh, get through most of it without really uh, any breaks to, to kind of elaborate on things. But uh, once I get done with that, then uh, I'll kind of give you guys more of my thoughts in regard to that. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe to The Observer Lineman if you haven't already done so. Uh, but let's get into this article on the uh, shocking death of Hall of Famer Kevin Green. It says, a blur of blonde mane, ferocious intention and tenacity off the edge, Kevin Green's historic level of levels of success came more from determination and passion for the game than any other worldly physical attributes. Uh, he was a character for the autumns uh, who roared when he spoke and with his play and with his play grinned ear to ear and had wide eyes when a quarterback was near one of the most prolific pass rushers rushers to ever grace the gridiron green a pro football hall of fame uh, hall of famer died monday he was just 58. Uh, no cause of death has been announced uh, a class of 2016 pro football hall of fame inductee green's 15 seasons 15 season NFL career was highlighted by 160 sacks, which stands as the third highest total in league lore. The entire Pro Football Hall of Fame family mourns the passing of Kevin Green, Hall of Fame president and CEO David Baker said in a statement. Uh, I regarded him as a personal friend and a true Hall of Famer in every sense. He possessed the most incredible can do attitude of anyone I ever met. He was a great player, but more than that, he was a great man. Our thoughts and prayers are with Kevin's wife, Tara, and their entire family. We will forever keep his legacy alive to serve as an inspiration for future generations. The Hall of Fame flag will be flown at half staff in Kevin's memory. Uh, upon a storied successful NFL run, Green uh, Green's 15 season saw him gather the aforementioned 160 sacks, which trail only Bruce Smith and Reggie White. Uh, Green produced an eye-popping 10 double-digit sack seasons uh, that led to five Pro Bowls, two All-Pro selections, and a spot on the Hall of Fame's All-1990s team. Uh, Green's NFL career began with eight seasons in the Rams organization after he was selected in the fifth round of the 1985 NFL Draft, but he would make an impact with the Pittsburgh Steelers and Carolina Panthers, playing three seasons apiece as well. Uh, he also played a season with the 49ers. Uh, we lost an amazing player and a person this morning uh, with the passing of Kevin Green. His sudden death is a shock to all of us uh, as he was a close friend and teammate to so many people in the Steelers family. Uh, that's coming from uh, Art Rooney II in a statement. Uh, when Kevin came to the Steelers in 1993, he had an immediate impact. Paired with Greg Lloyd, Kevin and Greg led a defense that became known as Blitzburg and went on to play in Super Bowl 30. Kevin's energy and enthusiasm were inspiring for our team as well as our fans. My condolences go out to Kevin's wife, Tara, their children, and the, and the entire Green family in this most difficult time. Uh, they will always be members of the Steelers family and in, and in our thoughts and prayers. 
True success story driven by resolve. Green was a walk on at Auburn prior to joining the Rams, where the future Hall of Famer uh, didn't start a game role in Pittsburgh's eventual run to Super Bowl 30, where the Steelers fell to the Cowboys. He moved on to the Panthers to rejoin uh, head coach Dom Capers, uh, who had been who had been his defensive coordinator previously uh, for two seasons, uh, two seasons in Pittsburgh, blossoming in the three four scheme. Uh, Green's greatness came into view as his career wore on, a sack master who terrorized opponent, opposing quarterbacks and twice led the league in sacks, consistent and in the chaos he created in the backfield no matter his age. Green had seven seasons with double-digit sacks at 30 or older, which tied Smith for the most all-time and remains the only player with double-digit sacks for four teams. His final year, was, uh, uh, his final year of 1999 saw him tally 12 sacks for the Panthers uh, as he indeed went out with the roar. Loud, physical, aggressive, green dabbed in pro wrestling as well, joining the WCW ranks while he was still an active NFL player. He was larger than life, loud in all that he did in the, in the arena. Uh, he would also collect a Super Bowl title as a linebackers coach with the, and you know that this article is, uh, I think I think this article does illustrate and describe uh, kind of the persona of Kevin Green on the field quite accurately. Uh, like I said, uh, growing up, this was a guy who you saw him on the field, on defense, you knew he was going to make a play. He was a huge player for the uh, for the, the the Steelers, for the for the also for the Panthers. And, uh, you know, just a, a, an all around beast, for lack of a better word. But not really a ton of information uh, coming out in regards to what happened uh, with Kevin Green. Uh, but he is he's you know widely considered one of the greatest of all time at his position. He's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, he won a Super Bowl championship with the Packers as a coach. Uh, I thought that, you know, he had a direct impact uh, as a coach, uh, almost to the same degree that he had as a player. I, I, I remember seeing how much uh, he actually got that. Packers defense, how much better he got them to play in that postseason uh, in 2010 when the Packers won the Super Bowl. A lot of that was attributed to the fact that they had a defensive line that began making plays in the postseason. And that really uh, is a credit to the kind of skill and the kind of, of high football IQ that a player like himself had and passed on to a new generation of athletes out there. Uh, and, you know, again, uh, it really boils down to uh, this was a guy who played the game uh, uh, the way that we all uh, inspire to play it, to play it fast, to play aggressively, uh, to play uh, with, with great instinctual integrity and to and to be able to to go out there and, and, and do it your way and play on your play the way you want to play uh, and, 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 you know, always uh, play the game on your terms and to and to finish the game on your terms. And he did just that. He went out his last season uh, with 10 sacks, which a lot of players, some first round players, have never had 10 sacks as players in the NFL. Uh, so, you know, this guy was around in an age and an era of true grit and toughness uh, on the defensive end. This was a time when defenders could jack up tight ends uh, at the line and, and, you know, had five yards to do whatever they wanted. Cornerbacks could do whatever they wanted. You didn't have personal fouls for barely touching the quarterback, uh, for your hand just swiping across his face. These guys buried quarterbacks. These guys broke quarterbacks. These guys, uh, you know, really instilled fear with their play because they've played on such a ferocious, with such ferocious intent. And uh, Kevin Green personified that kind of, of, of tough guy, wild man football player, uh, that a lot of other players in these in this playing age uh, can only really try to emulate. Uh, those guys really did it, and the game was a different game when he played it. Played it, so uh, definitely want to send out my condolences and my thoughts and prayers to the Green family. And uh, definitely, uh, we are going to uh, shout out an R.I.P. for Kevin Green uh, in this video. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Uh, you know, thoughts for Kevin Green and his family. Um, would be much appreciated in the comments. 
uh, and uh, you know, just some some fond things to say about people who were who can remember uh, the time when he was playing at his peak in the NFL. Leave those comments down below. Hit the like button if you like this video. I'm your observer, Lyman Uche Winery, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.